I'm going to build an entire sales funnel for an online course using nothing but AI. All the images, all the text, all the structures, everything is gonna be built using nothing but AI and I only have 24 hours to complete it. So the first thing I'm trying to do is ask ChatGPT what types of sales funnels are actually good for online courses. And I asked it and it didn't quite give me anything. So I'm just gonna go with a very simple sales page funnel that we can push traffic to and get sales off of this page. By the way, some of the images that Mid Journey made for the sales page are absolutely hilarious. You'll see it later inside this video. So the first thing we wanna do is ask ChatGPT, what are some of the elements that we need inside of our sales page? So it told me I need things like a headline, a banner, uh, what's included in the course, about the instructor, a guarantee, all of these different elements. So let's just go ahead and work one by one. So if you saw last week's video, we made an entire online course using nothing but AI, and it was called AI Prodigy. So this sales funnel is gonna sell that exact online course. So I wanted to use Mid Journey to make me a logo for this online course. You don't know what Mid Journey is, it's where you can prompt this software to make you any image in the world, and it will pump out that image whatever you describe it to make. So I told it to make me a logo for an education company called AI Prodigy, and it pumped out some pretty good logos, but the thing was, none of them were spelled right. And that was something I quickly learned with using Midjourney, is they cannot spell anything right. I don't know why they do this, if it's for some like security reasons, I don't know what it is, but all I know is they pumped out the most random things, but the actual design looked pretty good. So it gave me this logo, it looks kind of all right, uh, so we went ahead and used it. And the next thing I wanted to do was get a banner image, right? So you can see this on the screen here. So I went on a mid journey and I asked it, make me an image of a, a cool image of a software developer uh, coding, I think is what I said to do. I did a lot of different prompts. A lot of them looked pretty horrible, but finally I got this one. I was like, you know what? That one's actually pretty good. Looks pretty cool. And it's made complete with AI. And then I wanted a headline, really your unique selling proposition, the thing that's gonna grab people in on side of your sales page and get them interested inside of your course. So I asked ChatGPT, I said, make me a headline for an online course that teaches artificial intelligence. And I said, learn to code intelligent systems in our comprehensive online course for developers, which I thought was pretty good. So we plugged that in. Uh, and then I asked it what the call to action should be. It gave me quite a few. I like to get started today. And all of a sudden we already had our banner built. And this is honestly pretty good. If I was building a sales page for a client of mine, it would probably look a little bit different. Uh, this is more like a website with what it gave me, but honestly, for just pushing some traffic to, this could do okay. And a lot of this stuff I wanted to change so badly because ChatGPT obviously just doesn't have the context of you know just knowing the way humans react to things or just knowing in a different context about the product or kind of what you're really wanting it to say. So a lot of this stuff I wanted to change, but because of the rules, of only having 24 hours to doing it and only having AI to be able to make this. I wanted to see if I could actually get this done. So the next thing I did is have it write me three benefits for my online course. It said by learning how to code in AI, you would stay ahead of the curve. You would do it at your own pace inside of this online course and you'd get expert instruction from somebody who knew what they were doing. So I thought this was pretty good. I put those on. Now this next section is probably the most frustrating one of all of them. So it told me to put in what you'll learn, right? The different sections inside of the online course. Now, if you saw last week, we actually made the actual curriculum for the online course. So we took those, we had it write us descriptions and it wrote us descriptions for each section. We went ahead and did three different sections and then I went to Mid Journey. And oh my gosh, Mid Journey was cool the first time I used it, but when I did this, it sucked. I was trying to get it to make me these little banner images of, you know, these like basically like banner images, these thumbnail images of what was gonna be taught inside of these different sections. And for one, again, it cannot spell. Disintenta less an infinite. What does that even mean? I told it to put types of learning in AI and it just put this random gibberish. And the second thing is, I told it to make me a cool computer on this last image and it pumped out a computer from 1936 when computers weren't even around because that thing is so archaic. There's no way that thing can code AI, but it did that random computer. So I kept messing around. I was like, give me a new computer, give me a cool computer, and nothing was working. So it was pretty frustrating, but I went ahead and used these images because once again, I had to use AI. So it's pretty frustrating, but I got all these different descriptions down. And honestly, I'm like, okay, the structure of the page is looking pretty good, even though I made that myself. Uh, the copy is pretty good, but the next part, one of these next parts is going to blow your mind because I learned something about ChatGPT that I didn't know before that made my entire day. So also wanted me to put onside the sales page of actually what's included. And it said I should have a community where people can interact. I should have different curriculum, obviously teaching the things, some form of coaching or answering questions. 
So I put those on there, I had it write me the descriptions and it was actually pretty good. So like here for the private community, it says our supportive community of like-minded individuals who are all working towards mastering the cutting edge techniques and in artificial intelligence. You'll have the opportunity to connect with your peers, ask questions and share your own knowledge and experience. I thought that was pretty good for a value prop for a private community. Sounds pretty good. Training curriculum, whether you're a beginner or an experienced professional, our course will take you on a journey of discovery and understanding and giving you the skills and knowledge you need to succeed in an exciting field. So ChatGPT knows how to write copy. I mean, they're really actually decently good at it where they can add in these different value props and they can make it more appealing. Uh, and the same thing with private coaching. I mean, it says unparalleled level of support and guidance. I mean, that sounds pretty good. And once again, another call to action. Now this part is going to blow your mind. I asked it to make me an instructor, but not just any instructor. I thought, who better to teach AI than a robot? So I told it to make me an instructor called Arthur the AI robot. And first, I had Mid Journey make me an image of Arthur the AI robot and first gave me a bunch of scary images of robots that no one would want to learn from. So I told it to make it more nice and it came up with this guy uh, and I think this is pretty hilarious. And then I had ChatGPT write me a description. I told it to make it in a humorous tone about Arthur the AI robot. And it said, Arthur the AI robot is the most advanced AI instructor you'll ever meet or be instructed by depending on how you look at it. He's got circuits for brains, code for a soul, and a personality that's as quirky as it is knowledgeable. Arthur knows more about writing AI than anyone else, and he's got the credentials to prove it. He's got a PhD in AI writing, a master of code craftsmanship, and a bachelor of bot-tastic personality. I thought that was pretty good. In other words, he's a perfect robot to guide you on your journey to becoming an AI writing pro, but beware, his sense of humor is as dry as a desert. So don't expect any knee slapping jokes, but his unique way of teaching will keep you on your toes and leave, and you'll leave the class with a wealth of knowledge and maybe a few good puns too. So it can write copy, it can write humor. I thought this was actually pretty good. Uh, if you wanted to build a brand here that was you know, humorous, I thought that would work pretty well. And then this is where it gets even better. I told it to write me a guarantee. So most online courses have good guarantees where it just takes the risk off of the customer, puts it on you because you believe in your product. So I told it to write me a guarantee. I didn't tell it to mention Arthur the AI robot. I didn't tell it anything. I just said, make me a refund guarantee. And here's what it did, but first, Look at this little uh, this little badge. I told Mid Journey to make me a badge that said a refund guarantee and had a picture of a robot. The robot's decent, but what does this say? Again, why can't you just make a product that can actually spell things right, Mid Journey? But let's get over to this guarantee. So I told ChatGPT to make me this guarantee and it said, ladies and gentabots, are you ready for a refund guarantee that's out of this world? We understand the concept of learning AI writing can be a bit daunting, but fear not. So just right there, they can interpret what the customer is going to be thinking, right? That AI writing is gonna be a bit daunting, right? But fear not, our team of expert instructors led by the one and only Arthur the AI robot, I didn't tell to put that, are dedicated to making sure that every student leaves the course with a better understanding of writing AI. In the highly unlikely event that you don't feel like a coding genius after taking our course, we're proud to offer you a refund guarantee that's as ironclad as Arthur's circuits. They got this down. Simply send us an email with your request and we'll process your refund faster than you can say artificial intelligence. Honestly, that's probably better than I could do on that refund guarantee. So lastly, it told me to sum up everything they get, which was the curriculum, the community, the coaching. I asked it how much I should even charge for this online course. And it said anywhere from 2000 to 5,000, I believe. I like the price 2,800 and we introduced a payment plan there. And that was pretty much it. And if you're wondering, will this sales page work? Honestly, probably not. At least not uh, well, you would not be able to run ads or push traffic to the site and get a lot of sales. There's just too many holes. Uh, and it kind of just looks too simple, um, which really isn't AI's fault, but there's just too many limitations still with the different images and different things of that sort. But honestly, I do think you could use ChatGPT to make the copy and I think the copy would work. Um, I think it's more the just not knowing what to put on the page and having the context of what type of funnel to build because for this type of online course, I wouldn't use a sales page funnel. I would use a VSL funnel, but that's a video for a different day. But honestly, I was pretty impressed overall with how this did. If you want to see the last video, if you didn't see that already on how we use AI to make an entire online course, click that video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe.